So I'm here with Jimmy Sheeran and his classic cars, as see well you, as his modern cars. Good to see you. Now you have an interesting story that not only do you have a great garage here, which by the way you built. Yes, I You're did. a car builder, sure. uh, excuse me, a garage builder for people out in Arizona. So if they want to know more about you, we can check that out in the description. But show me what happened here, because you have these cases of all these cars that has to be shared. Go ahead. Well, this is a collection a gentleman collected over a 20-year span. Um, he's passed on for the last five years. His wife actually called me six months ago and didn't know what to do with the collection. And she said, while I was in church, I prayed to God and I asked, who should I contact? And she said, your name came in there, Jimmy. So she gave me a call <laughs> and the rest is history. Here are the cars and these cars came with all these cases. So it was a purchase of everything. And look at the amount of detail in these cars. Now, I will start by saying, Jimmy doesn't know all the details of every one of these cars, but they come with little placards. Maybe you could show me one of those. Absolutely. And they also come with, he has all the original boxes of all of these. So I'm obviously just scanning through because there are so many and you can pick out the ones that you like. There's some big ones down here. The Cobras, the Mura, <laughs> the Dirty 250 GTO, the LaFerrari, and then some Corvettes. These look like these were yours. Did you have the Corvettes? No, he actually never owned a Ferrari or a Bugatti, or he just owned Corvettes. Really? But he loved the Ferraris, as you see in here. He said, if I can't own all of them, I'll just get them in miniature form. So show me one of those little, I'll call it a stat sheet. I, someone else who knows more about model cars can tell me this. That's a good idea. So there's a, a I would call it a title to the car. So this is one of the cars in the collection. And, then, and you can see who makes it here. CMC, they're famous for their cars. And it just gives you everything about this car. Um, and also, we have all the specifications for the car there too. So these cars are made in Italy, they're made in Germany, they're made in China, all different manufacturers, all different types of cars, all different sizes. I'm getting more and more interested in them. Well, you know, the nice thing is, is you're sitting here in your garage and they're so colorful. You know, they're really little chunks of art. I mean, Oh, there's hundreds of hours, if not thousands of hours, into some of these cars. The detail is amazing. <laughs> wow. The newer ones and the older ones all in the cabinet. Look at that. So the tough thing about this... And if this you topic... own the real version of this, call me up. I'd love to get a chance to talk to you. But even... You know, just this is your office. This is where you there design and all the Ferrari information here. I'm guessing that sign was in his house. Absolutely. All the books that you see in the background there, they were in his house also, part of the collection. Look at that. Isn't that something? And just in this way here. <laughs> Look at that. Just tremendous. We've got a few more cases. That, uh, may I open this? Yes, sure. Thank you. I'll be careful. There we go. Yeah, we have the Bugattis, we have Porsches, we have Austin Martins. Mercedes. Mercedes. Look at that. The Jaguar. That's <laughs> really cool. I'm going to let you close that as I go to the other side. I don't know if I've ever seen a collection like this. It is pretty spectacular. The gentleman um, that owned it and put it together. And 
I'm lucky enough to have it now, but I have to say it was probably the only tassel I've had with my wife about buying cars. <laughs> because when I came home that night and I said, I'm going to buy 400 Ferraris. <laughs> <laughs> She says, that's it. <laughs> no more. That's great. Look at that. Isn't that spectacular? Is that how many there actually are? There's 400 of them? Yes, there's 400 cars here in this collection. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. And to think that these were, were you know, all real cars at one point. Exactly. You know, that's just tremendous. I want to capture these here. Look at that. Well, did you then explain to your wife that you didn't want to buy them, but God told this woman to buy them, so you had to buy them from her? Absolutely. Maybe that would help your wife with, <laughs> sweetheart, look, it's really not me. I, I agree with you. This is absolute insanity. But, you know, God told this woman that I'm supposed to have them, so I think I should probably purchase them. <laughs> I'm on your side. I don't want to, but, oh, you thanks, know. Lou. Thanks, Thanks, yeah. <laughs> Okay, did I miss something? You I got a couple on that side. Okay, there, you go. there we go. So my inspiration after having these cars in here for six months is I had to find myself a supercar, okay. which I have now. <laughs> it's not a Ferrari. So does, not a okay, the big question is, does the wife like that one? She really likes it. That okay, one. that's good. All right, so we're no. Buying the real supercar, there was no argument. <laughs> Buying 400 little first. Did I miss anything? No, I think you're in pretty good okay. shape. You might Let's, be on the other side. All right, we have videoed this one. Check out the 67 427. This is what we'll be taking out very shortly. Tell me what this is. I actually videoed this car when it was not in your possession. Yeah, the 1934 Victoria. It's a Vicky, and it's been hot rotted and street rotted. And been in a whole lot of things. You've also seen that one before, the 1963 split window Corvette. That was in a red white. I don't think you've seen these other two. Oh, the, the one in the front there is the newest. That's a 1967 uh, Roadster also with mm. a 435 horse a motor in there. So that's a rare color, the Elkhart Blue. And we did a video on this one. And this was the Fuley. All right. And the newest one is that orange 2023 Corvette. I think that's new for the channel, Lou. Yeah, that's nice. We, I, we did a museum delivery with that one. If anybody's never done a museum delivery, I would say go ahead and try it. So <laughs> this guy is the bad. It kind of ranks up there with the Biscayne. It's a 1965 <laughs> coupe. You can see the size of the tires on the rear end of this. I think that explains it all right there. <laughs> that, that pretty, and then you know what I like? Supporting public safety. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, very, we got that figured out. Very nicely done. That's oh, business. this car says supporting public safety all over it. Oh, my. Look yeah. at that thing. It was a drag car up in Las Vegas, so I had to go rescue it and bring it here to the club. That's great. We've got all the, the brochures. Let's open this because we're going to show them one more that's in the collection. And actually, we'll post this and this car at the same time which I really think you're gonna to wanna to see. This one's a treat for sure. Wait for it. We'll take that out for a ride. <laughs> and you can see Jimmy has a little sense of humor. So naturally the license plates would say, well, bis quick. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, great cars. Look oh, forward to sharing day. your garage, and thanks for making such great garages. And we met a lot of fun people because of these garages. Thanks so much for being in my car store. Thank you, Luke.